Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about this unusual object you see on the screen that is actually the most accurate clock in the world, while at the same time being the most accurately measured object in terms of distance and location outside of our solar system. This is PSR J0437-4715, and let's talk about this in this video. Welcome to What The Math. So right here on Earth, we have many different ways of measuring time. As a matter of fact, one of the most accurate ways of measuring time today is what's known as the atomic clock. It uses uh, a type of an um, electron frequency to basically try to measure what time it is. Essentially, uh, it uses specific molecules, and usually it's uh, rubidium or cesium atoms, to uh, try to estimate and try to measure time as um, accurately as possible and uh, it uses something called electron transition frequency to basically estimate a second. Now as of today, at least on Earth and also to some extent in space because we use these in satellites, it is uh, extremely accurate. But it just so happens that somewhere out there in outer space there's an even more accurate object, even more accurate clock. And that clock is a pulsar. The most well-known pulsar to us that actually possesses the uh, ability to be about 10 times more accurate than an atomic clock is this object right here known as PSR J0437-4715 in the location right there at a distance of approximately 509.8 light years. It's a little bit wrong here, it's actually a little bit closer to us. It just so happens because of its nature and because of the way it emits frequencies and basically sends a beam of light toward Earth um, about 137.7 times per second, we can also estimate very accurately its location in space. So even at a distance of 500 light years away from us, which actually let me show you how far away it is, let's uh, escape our solar system and move to the plane right above our galaxy, so somewhere right around here, with our uh, central galaxy being right there, and this particular object being right here, Earth is somewhere right here. So this is kind of the distance of about 500 light years, and at this distance normally we're, we don't really have much accuracy, but for this particular pulsar, the accuracy of our measurements is exceptional. We are basically almost uh, certain where it's located in terms of space. But also, because of uh, its very, very unusual circular orbit around its partner, which is a white dwarf that you see in the background, and because of the way that it, it sends its beams toward Earth, we can actually also know its location very, very precisely. But I guess the most interesting part about this pulsar is that it's an exceptionally accurate clock. Its beams uh, come to Earth very, very, very predictably. A lot more uh, predictably than they would if it was an atomic clock. So a lot of scientists today are trying to find a way to use this pulsar that doesn't actually have a better name just yet. I mean, if I was up to me, I would call it Kronos because it is a god of time. But it's not up to me just yet. And anyway, so this particular object uh, is so accurate that we could possibly save quite a lot of money and quite a lot of um, research and development costs if we were to find a way to basically use this rather than using atomic clocks for measuring time. Now, if we could somehow point all of our satellites and all of our um, technologies depending on the accuracy of time toward this pulsar and basically measure the beams uh, as they arrive to Earth, we would be about 10 times or possibly even more accurate in terms of measuring time. And it just so happens that there is probably even more accurate pulsars out there, and I'm sure we'll discover a pulsar that will be even more accurate in the way that it sends its uh, beams toward us, and uh, will definitely become the standard for measuring time in the future. Now, let's talk briefly about the, these two objects. So there is a white dwarf that's about... Uh, 25% of the mass of our own sun. This is essentially what our sun will be one day. 
Um, and it's orbiting in a practically circular orbit around the uh, pulsar. You can kind of see these orbits if we zoom out a little bit. They form a, a practically circular orbit with almost no um, eccentricity. In other words, it's almost not an ellipse at all. It's practically a circle. And the uh, actual object in the middle is the neutron star, uh, which is about uh, 1.8 or so masses of the uh, sun. And um, it's essentially one of the best uh, ways for us to not just measure time, but also measure location in space. So I've previously mentioned how NASA is now thinking about finding a way to basically uh, find the location in space using pulsars. And this is the prime candidate for being the sort of uh, foundation for this type of technology. In other words, if you find uh, various pulsars in our galaxy and you find their location, you can then use their signal and their uh, very, very specific frequencies to try to estimate where you're located. Although, unfortunately, except for these theoretical concepts, that's really all we know about this particular object, and we don't really have any means of uh, measuring time using them just yet. One day, hopefully, we'll discover how to use this as a perfect time measurement device and also as, as a kind of a beacon in space. For now, though, it's just a theory. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and once we discover more about PSRG0437, We'll make another video and talk about it in more detail. Other than that, thank you for watching, come back tomorrow to learn something else, space out, and as always, bye bye.